Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Big River Grill and Brewing Works actually reopened. So I wanted to come out and get something to eat and also try some of their amazing beers that they make right here at Disney's Boardwalk. And then walk around the resort a little bit and enjoy all the sights and sounds of the boardwalk. I like how I said sounds and you hear the horn from the friendship boat. That's amazing. Let's go do this. The boardwalk has such a chill atmosphere. During the night, it gets a little bit busy, but right now, look, it's so calming. We can hear a little jazz music up there and the birds chirping. It's gonna be a good day, I say. And like I said before, we're gonna be going to Big River Grill, and it's a brewery right here at the boardwalk. They make their own beer, and that's the second restaurant to open up. Of course, Trotteria Alferno is already open. Flying Fish is still closed, and I think Jelly Rolls is still set to be closed for quite a bit. But things are starting to get a little better, slowly, but it's getting there. Recently, I was hanging out at Epcot near Ratatouille and I noticed that the benches have little tiny Remy's on them and it got me thinking how cool some of the benches are at Walt Disney World. And take a look at these ones right at the Disney Boardwalk. They even say it, Disney's Boardwalk. And then on the top here, they got some dates. I really like it. I feel like I'm always a sucker for the littlest of details. Something about benches just caught my attention and now I'm going to be on the lookout. So if you know of any other cool benches at Walt Disney World, let me know because I'd like to check them out. And now I think we're going to head on into Big River. I'm very excited to try a bunch of different beers. And also, I think last time I was here I had meatloaf and it was really delicious. So we'll see what else they have on the menu. I don't have a reservation. They actually don't even have reservations on the My Disney Experience app for this restaurant. But I do think they're on open table and you can always call or go through their own website. So we're gonna just do a walk up and I'll even sit at the bar because they do have a nice little bar area there. The bar area has open seating and they have little separators in between the bar stools and you can see all of the brewing like tanks are behind glass displays. So you can actually take a look-see inside there and watch them make the beer. It is so cool watching them actually make the beer back there. I think this is really awesome how they have it in the glass display so you can take a look-see in. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, but I know that those are the fermentation tanks over there and uh, yeah, maybe one day I'm gonna take up microbrewing and maybe make myself my own beer. I was gonna just sit at the bar, but a table came available that's outside and I think I might wanna just sit out there and enjoy the boardwalk views. I think that makes sense. Even though in here is really cool because you get to see all of the brew works happening, a uh, little sunshine sounds like it's not a bad idea. So we'll actually just go right out here and kind of like Trotteria Alferno is, they have uh, little tables on both sides and I think we have that table right there. I think this was a much better idea. I'm really liking the view, you know, it's always good to have dinner with a view I feel like. Oh yeah, I can even see the friendship boat over there. Very, very cool, isn't it? If I ever did actually create my own beer or try to make my own beer, I think I would just call it PMM. Kind of like Pabst Blue Ribbon, so like kind of like PBR, but just PMM for PG Mr. Morrow. I think that sounds fancy. And speaking of beer, let's take a look at what they have to offer here. It looks like they have a Southern Flyer Light Lager, a Vienna Lager, a Big River IPA, and a Sweet Magnolia Brown Ale. These all look very, very delicious. If you guys ever want to know what the IBU is, IBU means more of a bitterness, and the higher it is, the more bitter it is. So I think we are going to do all of them. Ha! That's easy. Right now, because they just reopened, they normally have like I would say like 10 different types of beers they make here, but because they just reopened, they're just getting back into the flow of things, and right now they have four, and that's a good start because you can get a flight with all four of them, and I'm gonna be able to try each one of them, and I'm excited, because you know, I, I love beer. 
they come in little fancy goblets too. This is the Southern Flyer Light Lager, and then that's the Vienna, and then that's the Big River IPA, and this one is the Sweet Magnolia Brown Ale, and this has a little chocolate malts in it, so that's gonna probably be super delicious. <laughs> First things first though, I think I'm gonna go with the Southern Flyer Light Lager. These are about four ounces, I would say, so four, eight, 12, 16. So I think, they, I think the flight costs $16 and you get 16 ounces of beer. It's not too shabby. So this is a light one. Ooh, that's good. It's like a Bud Light. That's like light light. Light light Bud Light. <laughs> And since we went with the lightest, now we'll skip over and jump to the probably heaviest or most alcohol content because this is the Big River IPA. The IBU on this is 60. The IBU on this one, which was light, was 12. So a big drastic jump. <laughs> I'm getting super fancy with how I'm holding this camera right now. I can't wait to show you guys afterwards, but it's really nifty. But here's the uh, Big River IPA. You're supposed to know that. If you don't like it, okay, so I'll give it two and a half years old. Oh, that's very good. Wow, that's very good for an IPA. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, much too good for children. It was super funny because I was setting my camera right here and that's how I was able to film myself like that. I like to be creative with the way I position my camera. I don't like setting it in the same spot more than once. So I like to like move it around and give different angles. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that before. Now that we drank in two of the beers and we did it rather quickly, I think we should look at the food options here. Uh, I did find out that the meatloaf isn't on the menu yet. Uh, they did open up with the kind of like a, not like full menu, but just with some of their classics. So I think we're gonna look at the menu and get something to eat before we finish those two beers. This is just a limited menu as well, but you can see they've got Brewer's favorites. We got a signature rib rye, baby back ribs. I think I'm gonna get the baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> and then they have some shareables. They have nachos, jalapeno spinach cheese dip. Also, I noticed they don't have anything fried here because they don't have any fryers. This is a scratch food. See, scratch food, craft beer. So they don't have any fryers, so no french fries or anything like that everything is served with chips and uh i'm excited i'm excited to try the baby back ribs i think it's gonna be very delicious now that we've got our baby back ribs ordered i think we're gonna continue on drinking our beers this is the vienna and uh the waitress told me it's more like a ling yingling yingling a little bit of a speech impediment there, but uh, a Yingling Lager. And you know what's funny is because Yingling is actually brewed in Pottsville, Pennsylvania in Tampa. And I grew up in Pennsylvania. I live in Florida now. And I don't like Yingling that much. So we'll see if we like this one. Oh, it is like a Yingling. It's good. It's a, if you like the lager, if you like the Yingling, you'll like that. Huh, very good. I really just like these little glasses. I think they're so fancy. She said, hey, you want me to take these out of the way for you? I said, no, please keep them here. <laughs> now, this is gonna be the Mongolian Sweet Brown Ale. And this is the one that has the chocolate notes in it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, doo -doo, doo. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. Oh yeah, this is my favorite. I like this. So now that I've actually tried all the beers, I think I'm just gonna get a regular glass of this one. Yeah, this one's a good one. I like it. This is really, really good. It's got, you can definitely taste the, the notes of chocolate in there and it does have a sweeter taste to it. I like it a lot. And take a look at this. The ribs have arrived. I decided to get the cilantro lime rice and mixed veggies instead of the mashed potatoes, but look at those ribs. This looks so appetizing. I cannot wait to dive into this. The only bad thing about eating ribs is you get a little bit messy, but ribs with a view. Huh? Yeah, they look good, don't they? <laughs> oh boy, these ribs are literally fall apart. Look at this. Oh. Look at that, much too good. So I guess we're gonna take a bite right here. 
I don't know. It's so hard. I'm so excited though. Look at this. These ribs are so good. I absolutely love them. They're baby back ribs, but you can see the meat on there and it's got a good it's got a good chunk. So this is one bone. And you see the bone is right there and it's surrounded by meat. That is what I'm talking about when it comes to ribs right there. I mean the ribs are excellent. I absolutely love them, but the rice and the veggies are very delicious as well. Warning though, the barbecue sauce has a little kick to it. I really enjoy it. It is a little bit spicy, but if you don't like spicy food, the barbecue sauce, probably not your thing. And I would suggest getting it with the mashed potatoes next time because even though I do love all the vegetables, vegetables aren't really good when there's spicy barbecue sauce on them. So that was my mistake, but I still enjoy it all. I enjoyed the veggies, I enjoy the ribs, and uh, I haven't even gotten like halfway through yet. You might actually be able to just fork the ribs because look at that, so easily, you just literally stick it in there, but you gotta clean the bone. You don't have to clean the bone no matter what, so we're gonna try it just like this. I had a barbecue stand on my beer glass too. That was very delicious and now I feel very stuffed. The ribs were like phenomenal though. I don't know if I've had any better ribs at Disney World. I mean, I like the quick service ribs that they have like Flame Tree Barbecue's got good ribs or uh, Polite Pig has good ribs, but those were pretty delicious to me. I like the spicy barbecue sauce and I like the atmosphere of sitting on the boardwalk. I think that was probably the tilting point for me. You get to look at all this beautiful scenery and eat ribs and drink beer. Who wouldn't think that that's amazing? I love it here. I remember coming and watching so many sunsets and the music is just really relaxing. Very cool experience today. I initially thought that maybe after dinner, I would save some room and get some dessert at the Boardwalk Bakery and see what they have to offer. But I might be a little too full, so I'm still gonna actually go over there and see what they got. I mean, if something pops out and I'm like, I gotta have this, I'm gonna get it. But I do miss Ample Hills Creamery here. I don't know of any other ice cream parlors that I loved as much as that one. And uh, yeah, it's, it's sorely gonna be missed. They're bankrupt now. But you can see here's the other restaurants that are open. Trotteria El Ferno, and they have the outdoor dining kind of like where we were at. And then they have the pizza window. If you ever get the pizza from here, it is different than the pizza inside the restaurant. The same thing with uh, the Italy Pavilion. Pizza windows aren't the pizza restaurants. I've learned to find that out. And uh, they have very different tastes. I have eaten at Trattoria El Ferno plenty of times. I love it. I love getting the chicken parm. They've got handmade linguine there. Good pasta, good Italian restaurant. And this right here is where Ample Hills used to be. This is my favorite ice cream parlor, but now it is closed or bankrupt. They even had plans of putting a new location at Disney Springs. They completely scrapped it. And uh, like I said, a little sad that I'm gonna be missing it. So now we'll go into the Boardwalk Bakery and just see what they got. This serves as the Boardwalk's quick service location as well. We got lots of good stuff. We got croissants, almond croissants. Oh, hello. Crumb cake? Ooh, fancy. I like that crumb cake, it looks good. And then a chocolate chip muffin, a banana bread. Ooh, even some Easter egg cookies. I don't know, maybe I might need to get something. Now I'm looking at all of it and it looks delicious. They got key lime tarts, Easter cannolis. Do you see the Easter cannolis? And then a new Easter cupcake. And this looks fancy, so I think I'm gonna get a cupcake. The only thing is I don't know if I can eat it all, but it looks delicious. So maybe we'll just cut it open, take a bite, and then maybe I can have it later for a snack. Well, wait, I think I see something else I might like. Maybe an Easter coconut macaroon. Look at how fancy that looks. That's the one, Marv. That's the silver tuna. 
I think I made a little mistake because while I was in there, uh, I think they heard me say I want the cupcake because that's what I said like when I was filming. I was like, that's the one I want. But then I seen the coconut macaroon because I really do like macaroons. And uh, they ended up giving me both. I ended up buying them both. But now I got lots of Easter treats to try. And I'm kind of excited, but I don't want to eat them all because I want to save some for later. So I'm just going to get a grand look at all the good Boardwalk Bakery Easter treats they got found a perfect little table right here next to Joe's margarita stand they got good margaritas but I don't think they're open at the moment first things first I think we're gonna do this little baby right here look at the little Mickey little Mickey sticker on the bottom of that this is soft kind of heavy too I'm excited to give it a go oh yeah oh there it is and I think we got our fork right here we're gonna just we're gonna take just a little bite we're gonna try them both and then save them. Ooh, a little bit hard to cut. There we go. That's the way. Oh yeah. That is so delicious. The milk chocolate on the bottom. Wow, I am blown away. Honestly, this is probably one of the best things I've had at the Boardwalk Bakery. Oh, I, I, I'm like resisting the urge to eat it all, but no, we're gonna put this away. We gotta put it away put it right back into the bag and now maybe we will just take a little bit of a bite of the cupcake now it's a vanilla cupcake with lemon in the middle so maybe I'll cut right down the middle and I like these cupcakes because they don't have that weird wrapper on them and we're just gonna kind of just peek a little bit here yeah like that and then I'm gonna oh it's so pretty I don't want to cut it and ruin it but it's going down oh yeah right down the middle right down the middle that's the way I'm not the best at cutting things. I can't even show you though. Uh oh, I done goofed. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this with my hands kinda, so. Look at that. Oh, that is so good looking. Okay, all right, we gotta try this now. Maybe from right here, yeah. I dug right in there and got a lot of that lemon filling. Wow, two amazing desserts right here. I can't tell you which one's better, honestly, because usually the cupcakes here are not, they're like super sweet and too much icing. Like I don't like a lot of icing, but the mixture between the lemon filling and the cake, that's the best part. And I really, really enjoy this one too. All right, I added too much on there. I'm taking home two desserts. Well partial two desserts i didn't eat much more of the cupcake even though the cupcake was good i can't tell you which one was better but i'm just enjoying myself sitting at this table and looking at earlier when i was saying like the sights and sounds of the boardwalk that's what i'm enjoying the most right now it's so beautiful out i know i've already said it but i really do sometimes just stop and stare and i'm like wow I'm so blessed. I'm so happy that I'm here doing this and experiencing all these great moments. Even if I'm by myself, it's just great. Look at these birds flying in right here. Oh, look at that. That is the coolest thing ever. I think now we're going to start making our way back on out to the main like lobby area. Also, I want to go stop into the Bellevue Lounge to see if they still have the radios playing. I don't know. I've been really in a kick of like old radio broadcast and the other day I was at the uh, Chapeau and they had the party line so it's been playing in my head and it'd be nice that they still had the radios in the Bellevue Lounge going as well. Oh no, they got it roped off so we can't even go in there. Can't hear the radios though. Makes me sad, this is one of my favorite lounges. At least you have that really cool music in here though. I'm guessing they didn't want anyone hanging out inside there, so. But I don't think the radios are working. I wonder if the cat in the bag is still working though. This is the cat in the bag. We'll see if this still goes. Oh yeah, it does. It looks like it is. I'm gonna spin it real quick.
I love it. It also looks like they have a nice little Easter display here and 10 hidden Mickeys. Oh, are they actual Mickey's Mickeys? Yeah, I don't, oh, yep, I see they're numbered, so that's number one. You have to try to find all 10 of them. I like how they're literally hidden Mickeys. You know what I mean? Like a hidden Mickey is like something that's not normally uh, in the shape of a Mickey. And these are like little Mickeys hidden throughout the whole entire thing. Like this one creeping behind the thing. Look how hidden he looks. He looks suspicious too. <laughs> Very suspicious, Mickey. And with that, I think I am done here at the boardwalk. I had a lot of fun hanging out here. A little afternoon lunch and uh, helicopters flying by. I feel like that helicopter's following me everywhere. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!